Hmm, is learning to find all the beautiful new natures of myself, to be honest. Um, it's like having this beautiful, magical lens that I can look through and see myself in so many different like kaleidoscope of colors and it's actually really exciting and fun for me. And, um, and I know that when I learn more about myself, ultimately I learn more about humanity. And that's really what um, juices me. So that's, that's what's most valuable to me. My experience of transformative learning. Wow, it's scary at times. Uh, yeah, sometimes I want to run and hide, honestly. But other times, uh, well, you know, every time, really, I get to the other side of that afraidness and nervousness, there's always some new aha moment that makes me feel grateful that I walk through. And so the transformative experience here also for me feels like, like a safe walk, like you're walking with a friend who just cares and they want to see you get to the other side because they've been there and they want to they want you to play there and they know how wonderful it is so it feels like a real sweet gentle invitation versus a push and so i really appreciate that about the transformation processes and things that we do here I have the pleasure of traveling to various mental health facilities, providing direct mental health services to their clients, as well as assisting them in understanding how they can make change to their services so that they can better serve the clients and increase the quality of life for the patients and the clients. So I adore it because I love work where I can bring folks together in common purpose and movement towards the betterment of others. That's really exciting for me. That's where I'm at now. And you asked, where do I see myself in the future? Um, you know, I see myself in the future doing more travel. Um, I see myself uh, writing a book about just the beauty in Mm, what it takes to build and develop capacities to bring people together in a way that it feels like family and we just together are juiced and excited to create and change and make a difference in the world and each get to go do that so I see myself writing about that I see myself giving lectures and speeches and I just want to share it with everybody because I feel like it's exciting and something that um, some uniting I'm hoping that it creates a uniting force in this world so that we can um, transcend and you know forget about the separatism that's been happening so much because we're just so much stronger together When I started at Meridian, I feel like I already had like a beautiful family. I still have a beautiful family. Um, but the transformative nature of the work that we do here at Meridian, I feel like I have so much more gifts that I can give my family. So um, just organically over the time that I've been here, my family relationships have just come even more alive. The online format always feels like this juicy, you know, place to be because the aspect of the shared learning that's happening in there is so rich. Um, so I find myself in awe most of the time for the, the depth of knowledge and experience that's in the space with me. You know, I, I don't, 
I, I can't remember times when I read a post or had a conversation or even had some time at residency where I didn't feel like, wow, you're just great. You know, you're there's just some really heartfelt folks here that seem to get uh, at a deep level that um, it's about humanity. It's about really being here for ourselves and others in a way that we all thrive. And it's just so nice to be in that kind of environment. <laughs> well, when I think of the Meridian faculty, for the moment, what comes to mind is Avtab and Melissa. Um, they're like the two anchor faculties, you know. And Avtab reminds me of someone that when he speaks, it's as if you ask yourself so many more questions because of what he had to say that it's so expansive, kind of blows your mind sometimes. So um, it's beautiful though, because I find myself in curiosity and wonder even more like, wow, and I feel hungry for more. Um, Melissa, same way, except Melissa is, I know I'm talking about specific teachers, but um, Melissa just has a very real and just sort of um, organic way about her that is, is, is still matter of fact, but it's blended together and weaved together in a way that I just feel like she makes sense. And I know I'm being kind of maybe vague, but she just makes sense to me and most everything she says resonates with me. Um, but the teachers in general, like Tim, um, is the one that comes to mind right now, but I've also had teachers in the past that I've found to be just amazing individuals. You know, the work that they're doing in the world inspires me. I mean, I feel like they're just almost as if they're all part of this this general movement together with each of their own charges and, um, and purposes, but all kind of moving together in one big movement and it's exciting. Ah, you know, I innately somewhere knew that in order for me to be, to make a difference, I got to be different. And so the, the transformative nature is exactly what draw me, drew me in. Um, and when I was reading information on the website, um, I, could, I could feel it and hear it in the communication that they really want to just help people transform. And that's what drew me in, just I knew it. Well, for me, I came in with um, a master's already. So I have a master's in psychology. And I honestly, I fell in love with the work in developing myself as a therapist um, in my master's program. And it was largely book learning and informational learning in my master's program. I didn't uh, come to Meridian. I didn't know about Meridian then. Um, had I known, I really would have come to Meridian for sure. But as it were, I didn't. And when I, I finished the program and I was interning, I felt hungry for more. I felt a sense that there's got to be more than this. It's got to be deeper than this. This can't be it, you know? So um, that's when I started looking and searching and I found Meridian and it felt like Click, click, click. Yeah, this is this is it. Um, so I knew it would take a PhD. I decided not to go with my PsyD because I feel that I'm already a therapist and in the practice of that, which is beautiful. Um, but I also wanted to be on the other side of a, a with a PhD because I knew I get to do some research, some qualitative research, and that is where I would be able to transform qualitative research skills into communication and messages out to the world. Oh, 
Oh, hands down, it's the processes, <laughs> I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, Meridian has very unique approaches to um, how they assist us in transforming and being able to shine the light inward on ourselves and see what's happening. Um, they're my favorite aspects because always, as I mentioned before, on the other side, there's so much wonderful, rich learning. Um, and so I found that the more I pressed in to that learning, the better I am on the other side. So that, it just juices me. It's also super uncomfortable uh, at times. And sometimes, like I mentioned, I want to run and hide. And sometimes I get away with it. But <laughs> but most of the time, it's yeah, you really, you know, it's difficult to hide. Um, and that's a good thing because, yeah. Um, but it is very, it can be very uncomfortable. It can be nerve wracking. And at times it can feel sometimes uh, like a little frustrating, like, man, I've worked on my health, myself so much. Can I just be for a while, you know? Um, but yeah, so, but at the end of the day, we still do it. And um, for me in particular, whenever I get frustrated or I feel like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of work or any of that kind of conversation, um, I remember what Meridian is about and that's about transforming. And if I want to transform the world, then I get to continue to transform myself. So I press in. I mean, know I kind of mentioned that already, but that's what's both scary and super exciting for me. 